Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to Hef from Heffy's Cupcakes and Cookies, I'm gonna be doing an Australian taste test, so let's get started. Peanut brittle dairy milk chocolate. Right, oh, it's scratchy broken. Can you see a lot of peanut brittle? I can't. Mmm, mmm, hello. It, would I get it again? Yes, I would. There's actually not a lot of peanut brittle in there, but I love the Cadbury chocolates. I'd get it just because I feel like something with a little bit of peanut brittle, but if I'm in a real peanut brittle crazy mood, I'm probably going to get something Darryl peanut brittle, but this is a very nice chocolate and the peanut brittle in there is nice and crunchy toffee with well, peanuts in it. <laughs> surprisingly. So if you like peanut brittle and you like Cadbury chocolate, you'd like this. Very nice. Oh, no, don't finish it. I've got more to eat. This is a limited edition Mars mud cake. It's caramel mud cake. Yum, yum, yum. Is there a special way of opening a Mars bar? Oh, there it is. I'm going to break it in half and show you the middle of it. Ready? Oh, oh yes. Doesn't that look good? Oh, Mmm, oh yum, mmm, mmm. It's really rich, like, but I love it. <laughs> it's one of those things that you couldn't have too much of it. After one bar of it, you'd probably just sit on the lounge and regret a few life choices, I suppose. It is nice and chocolatey, and then that smooth caramel. I love blowing caramel in things. And of course, the chocolate's always good on these. I really love the flavor of this one. Would I get it again over a normal Mars bar? Mmm, mmm. No, I'm a traditionalist when it comes to the Mars bar. I like the original one, but this is very nice and definitely worth trying. Tim Tam crab flavored snacks. Now these obviously are not from Australia. They're actually made in Malaysia. She sent these because my name's Tam and my husband's name's Tim. And that's um that's basically why we got married. This is made by Snack Coo. It's got a gorgeous little crab on there because they're crab flavored and you want to see the animal you're going to have. Tear it. No, no. Oh, they're tinier than what I thought. I thought they were going to be like this size. Little tiny, tiny, tiny things. And they're very, very light. Uh, why does this remind me of Chinese food? There's something about them that reminds me of having Chinese food. Isn't that weird? They're quite pleasant. They're crispy. They haven't got a really strong crab flavor in there. They taste more like a cracker. They're crab crackers. You know what it reminds me of? Prawn chips. They're crunchy. They have got a nice amount of salt in there. They don't taste very crabby, but I still like them. I have two lots of popcorns today. Poppin' Shakers Zombie Maple Bacon. What's that? Oh, I don't know about the graphics for these. It's like someone said, well, here's some corn. Can you turn that into art for us? And this one is super cheese. There's a flavor sachet inside both of these. How exciting. The cheese one appeals to me the most. Let me know which one appeals to you the most. So these are microwave popcorn. So I'm going to make these zombie maple bacon. How does that sound to you? Sounds really nice. Open it up. Ooh. Now I love popcorn. It has a flavor sachet here. Instructions, I remove plastic. Why does it take to remove the plastic when you're already in? Cooking times are in the table below. It's got a whole table I've got to look at. Heat with this side down. Let Timmy have a look. <laughs> okay. I can't even read this. <laughs> Three because minutes. They say when it's about 98, 99% popped, it's done. Okay. I'm leaving. Guess what? It's been 10 seconds. <laughs> Let's have a look at what's in this little sachet. Salted flavoring. Oh, the pig. I'm smelling. Oh, smoky. It does smell very smoky. Oh, action. It's been one and a half minutes. I think I'm going to add another 10 seconds to this. But a lot can happen in 43 seconds. Not a lot. It's happening right now. Put another minute on it. Are you excited about it? No one's excited as you, honey. <laughs> you don't want to burn. Oh. It. Still popping inside though. So we're doing ours a minute longer than expected. Life's full of surprises. Pull it out carefully. Yeah, it's hot, carefully because it? it's hot, hot, hot. It smells good. Look at that. Oh, look at the steam. Chuck her in. Excellent. And you have to fold it over carefully. Now you got to shake, shake, shake it. That's it. Without ripping the bag. <laughs> oh! oh no. Well, if it hasn't popped. Actually, it's nice. It's 
salty but it's also got some sweetness to it you can see the coloring on there from that flavor sachet it smelled more piggy than it tasted it doesn't taste really piggy to me. It has a slight smoky taste to it. Do you want to see the amount of unpopped corn in here? See it down the bottom there, all the bits that didn't work. And I think this might just be my microwave issue. It's pretty good. Mm, I think I still prefer plain buttered salted popcorn though. Let's try the super cheese one. I'm hoping I'm going to have more success with this one because I now have a new microwave. Right. There's my flavor sachet. Do I have to read the instructions again? I don't think so. There's a lot of do nots there. Welcome to life. I like that the stand watch and listen part has the guy with his arms folded. If you smell burning, stop the microwave immediately. There's an obvious one. Just gonna open up this flavor sachet and have a whiff of it. Very orangey, yellowy looking cheesy powder in there. Oh yeah. That smells like cheese from many years ago. Three minutes. Got my arms folded. You know what I like about my new microwave is that I can actually see inside it now. My old one I couldn't. It was always a mystery as to what was going on in there. You could only see my reflection. I don't know if you can actually see inside. Oh, look, we've got action happening. And I can hear the sounds of success in there. Oh, it's actually really popping up now. Oh, and it smells really good. It actually smells buttery and popcorn-y. Funny, 98, 99% cooked. So I'm not hearing anything now. This is when I start to panic. Nah, I'm done, I'm done. I'm out, I'm out, stop. Oh, the panic. Hello? Hello? Mmm. Oh gosh, you just never know with these things, do you? Oh gosh, don't burn yourself. All right, flavor in. Shake up the bag. Try the super cheese one. Mmm, it's really yummy. Mm, mm. It's really salty and really delicious. Yum. And the corn has worked out so well. I am so happy right now. It doesn't taste really buttery, but it does taste nice and salty and cheesy. See? All I needed to do was buy a new microwave. Time for a beverage break and today I have two Makona drinks. Maple pecan latte and spiced chocolate orange sensation. Orange is getting a good look in on things at the moment, isn't it? I'm gonna try the orange one first and I'll put that in my see-through cup. Wow, it just keeps coming out. Seriously, what's going on with it? It's haunted for sure. See some more in there, stop it. <laughs> oh, you're serious. <laughs> Round one. Mmm. How hard is it to get lumpy bits out? Spiced orange chocolate. Cheers. Mmm, lumpy bit. <laughs> I think you've stirred them all out. Mm. Uh, uh. I actually can't taste a lot of spice in there. There's a very subtle flavor of orange in there, which is probably the right amount. And it's nice and chocolatey, very nice and chocolatey. The part I like about this most is stirring out these lumps, obviously, and the chocolatey part of it. You know, I'm trying to work out what, that's my face of trying to work out what spices are in there. There's nutmeg and there's cinnamon. And there's something else in there, which I can't work out. This is a pretty nice hot chocolate. I probably still prefer a straight hot chocolate, but this is quite nice though. If you like orangey flavored things, maple pecan crave latte. I'm not gonna bother chasing it through the packet. I'm just gonna cut it here. I haven't got a see-through one. I've got my haunted parrots. This is what happens when you put things in the dishwasher. Mmm, this smells nice. The waft that I'm getting from there is amazing. The aromas. Give it a good stir. Oh, it's hot. Oh, mmm. This smells like a candle I got once. Do you want to look at this? I don't want to tip down my cup too much. See? <laughs> Mmm, it smells very maple syrupish. It smells like a pecan pie. Cheers. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I 
quite like the flavor in that. I wish I didn't add so much water. I feel like I should have added that much less and it would have been perfect. So obviously it just has instant milk in there and instant sweet flavor of maple and pecan. The flavor is quite nice in this. I'd probably like get a cup this big though. The, the flavor sachet, even though there's so much in there, isn't as strong as I'd like it to be. Mmm, mmm. But then I'm one of those people that when I have hot chocolate or something like that, I want lots of hot chocolate in it. I don't want a couple of teaspoons of hot chocolate in there where I can't taste the chocolate. I want hot chocolate, you know, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. I think you all know what I'm talking about when you get one of those watered down hot chocolates. Why bother? I've got another flavor of Tim Tan, choc hazelnut and gooey caramel. Oh, aha, uh -huh. designed to slam. I think I might try that with my pecan flavored one. I know, mixing my nuts. There you go. I'll break one in half to show you the center. Oh, oh, it's not really a gooey caramel. So it's got chocolate on the outside, chocolate biscuit, cookie in the middle, and then a filling. Now that one's supposed to be a hazelnut filling. Mm, yeah, they're pretty nice. I was thinking hazelnut, what are you doing? Stop it, but I like it. It's got a nice amount of hazelnut filling in the middle there. That cream filling is quite tasty. I'd get these again for sure. Would I get them over the normal Tim Tam? Maybe. Yeah, I would get them as an option. They're very nice. So the Tim Tam Slam bite the opposite corners off. And then you use it like a straw and stick it in your drink and suck suck the coffee through the Tim Tam and then put it all in your mouth at once. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> go, go. Mmm! 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 Mm hmm. And mm -hmm. yeah, it goes all gooey. Mmm! Yum! See, now the parable seems gooey. That's good! I think the pecans and hazelnuts should hang out together more. That worked really nicely with this coffee blend. Who knew? Couple of nuts together. Oh, a couple of nuts together. <laughs> was delicious. Now I know Americans like to stuff peanut butter in everything but us Aussies obviously like to stick Vegemite in things. Mighty Aussie nuts. Picky picky peanuts. It's got a rhyme there on the back you can say. Pick the peanuts picky peanut people pick. How well did I do that? Hello. Oh my goodness me. They're looking Vegemite-y. I like them. Mmm, 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 mmm. They're very, very salty. Because Vegemite actually is very salty. Oh, hello. Oh, they're good. That is something with Vegemite overseas people could enjoy. They're probably thinking no. And they don't really smell that Vegemite-y, but you can taste the Vegemite saltiness in these nuts. And you can see they've got a bit of a brownish tinge to them as well. Sometimes they put Vegemite things and they get it so wrong. But this is pretty good. Oh, I love that. Mmm, brown stuff on my hands. Eee. It has left me with the most disgusting brown residue on my fingers, though. <laughs> oh, see, now it tastes really Vegemite. <laughs> Now this is the part in the video which I'm really looking forward to, Milky Bar Smarties. It's actually one of my favorite white chocolates. Usually kids just like this, but I do too. We've dialed the fun up even more by teaming up with Smarties. Who dials up fun anymore? Made with real milky goodness. Yum! This is a special edition. So I'm guessing the Smarties inside are just gonna be the regular milk chocolate ones. Oops! Oh, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. That is gorgeous. I wanted to bring out the whole thing and show you it in one, but that's not gonna happen. Look at how beautiful that is. Usually I wouldn't have Vegemite just before I had Milky Bar. <laughs> oh. All right, so you can see the beautiful little Smarties in there. It's so sweet. It's ridiculously sweet. White chocolate is usually a lot sweeter than the other chocolates. And then you've got the addition of those crunchy coated Smarties in it and it's extra sweetness in there. It's a little bit stabby in the eye and in the teeth sweet, but I really love it because it's Milky Bar and it's Smarties. And this is so fun. If I was a kid, actually even as an adult, see, I find that a little bit irresistible. If you love white chocolate and you love super sweet stuff, then this one you will love. In for another rough night with this fella. 
Bella. Thank you so much, Heath. And if everyone in the comments could please thank Heath, because without her, this taste test would not be possible. Do yourselves a favor and check out Heffy's Cupcakes and Cookies. I will leave a link to her socials below. If you want to support me and my channel, you know what? I can't be bothered doing that bit today. <laughs> God. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Have a great week. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, that's one of my balls. And the peanut biddle. A biddle. <laughs> My camera's doing something weird, it's focusing in. That's not good. <laughs> Stop.